Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at the King's English India Pale Ale, 6% alcohol, brewed in England by Green King Brewing, imported into the United States, sold at Trader Joe's stores, and maybe some others. Um, 500 milliliters, Latitude Wines, of Danville, California. California. Um, Beer Advocate says it's okay. Oh, and this is a special edition. Revisited! Um, I had it back in 2014. It's $2.99 for a bottle. Rape Beer is giving it bad, like 41 out of 100. Trader Joe's is one of those places that I've found where you can find good values and you can find not so good values. Good values like this. Not, or this. <clears throat> and not so good values like this. You want a porter that's not very good, but you're a cheapo, you're a cheapskate and you won't pay the money, buy this. You won't like it, but then you'll save a buck. You want an IPA that's not very good, get this. It won't cost you much, you won't get much. You want a blueberry, a blueberry ale, so on and so on, uh, <coughs> that's not good. Or now, but now on the other hand, now those are shipyard produced. On the other hand, if you want a dark ale from California that really is good, get the Black Toad. <coughs> but I believe that's coming from Gordon Biersch. So it depends, man. It depends. If you want some really wretched stuff, Get the name tag lager and the, uh, what is it? Um, old time. I have a can of it over there in that other room. Old times or something. It's bad. All you gotta do is go into Trader Joe's store. You're gonna see all of it. And they don't care, they let you buy singles, so they're good about that now. <coughs> but I would recommend trying all of it. I mean, just try it. I've had some people tell me, name tag, that's not bad. And I'm, I'm telling them, really? You think that's not bad? <coughs> I mean, to me, that's a beer that makes natural ice look like world class. And I'm not a person that denigrates natural ice now. But I wouldn't say it's world class. But Trader Joe's... Name tag lager makes it look world class. Like the best. Um, just using those as reference points. <coughs> Still got that cough. Um, it's clear. And this beer is clear like a beer that's clear. And um, the head is not the greatest. Little off white, cream colored, even. And this is not like the IPAs I'm used to seeing from America. I live in America. Um, this is tea colored, or even if you want to say copper. It looks like an amber ale to me. Green King, that's one of those breweries that people either will tell me, oh yeah, I've had a lot of their stuff, it's pretty good. Or other people will go and say, I want to come find you and kill you I mean they get really irate they um they sort of flip out if you say green king or boddington's boddington's I like boddington's um the aroma is muted muted The flavor is not muted. 
latitude lines. I'm going to have to look that website up. I think I was looking at it a good while back, though. Um, and they had a little description of this beer. Don't see a Best Buy date. If it came all the way from England, I'm sure it's not the freshest thing you ever wanted to get a hold of. But then that would mimic the original India Pale Ales, which were heavily hopped so that they could go on that long voyage to British India. And I'm sure by the time they got there, they were not exactly hoppy. They just weren't spoiled. Because they did not have refrigerated vessels. And I'm pretty sure that their quality control was not the best. I'm not talking about the companies, but maybe the shipping. I mean, we're talking about the 1850s. It gets really hot in parts of India. Um, this is your classic British India Pale Ale. Think of Twisted Thistle. Another Green King brand. It has breadiness, moderate bitterness. It's probably only 40 IBUs. It's definitely not American style IPA. If you're used to Torpedo from Sierra Nevada, I'm not saying you're not going to like it, but it's going to throw you for a loop. Um, the Guinness Nitro IPA was more bitter, hoppier, lighter in color. Not necessarily better, although I did say it was an A+. <laughs> that Nitro just brings it up to another level. Um, tea, coffee, caramel, definitely toffee, bread crust. So it's a pale ale that's not really pale. Better than a black India pale ale. And then the problem with those beers, I find they're not really that good. To me, you might love. Um, I don't know, my mouthfeel is, so it's, you know, low to moderate sweetness, low to moderate bitterness, light mouthfeel, light to medium mouthfeel, excuse me. Um, Fairly dry finish. Not the best IPA I've ever had. It's far from the worst. And it's far cheaper than some of the worst I've had. Yeah, I mean, compared to this thing here. <laughs> no good. Good. Um, but really, I would give it a, a B. I would give it a B. I mean, what am I saying? Um, an A. I don't know where that B came from. Um, I have a B in my bonnet. I, I, I'll give it an A. An A. Most excellent. Um, it's the most excellent beer. I mean, yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, it's from Trader Joe's. And no, I don't really care. Um, now, another place that's good that doesn't really have store brand beer, well, it doesn't have store brand beers that I'm aware of, is uh, I was at World Market, and um, if you're just getting into this deal where you're trying all the new beers, I would I would suggest going to Cost Plus World Market because um, their selection is growing. I mean, it's it, it used to be pretty good, you know, like, okay, and then I went in there earlier the, uh, at the end of last month, and I was very impressed. I said, wow, they are getting whole hog into the craft beer um the craft beer scene now they're not cheap they're not like discount but um they're fair their prices are fair and they have some really bordering on exotic stuff frankly so um trader joe's definitely check it out uh it is what it is um cost plus world market you'll be even happier probably and they have some exceptional <clears throat> variety packs that you can get. So um, <coughs> all in all, enjoyable experience. 
it's not gonna um, you know this is not this is not gonna change your worldview or anything but you know like me it'd be pleasant to have so y'all come on down to Louisiana